Okay, in this tutorial we're going to initiate the action of the Pong game. And so in order to do that we need a new attribute. So click the Attributes tab and the plus. We want this to be a Boolean attribute, which means that it's a value that is either true or false. And we'll call this in play. And we want this to be true if the ball is in play and false otherwise, so we'll leave it false since it, the game starts out not in play. And the next thing we need to do is change the behavior of the ball. So we'll click the ball and create a rule, and this rule will initiate the game. So we'll call this start game. And so we want the game to start when two conditions hold. One, the start image is pressed. And two, the game is not already in play. So first condition, actor receives event, touch is pressed. We'll add another condition. That will be attribute game in play is false. Now when the game starts we want three things to happen. We want the image to change of the uh, ball to change from the start button to the ball image. We want the ball's velocity to change and that, mean, that is we want the ball to start moving and in addition we want the attribute in play to be changed to true. So in order to accomplish these things, we need to drag some behaviors into the rule um, box here. In this area labeled drag your behaviors here. So we'll first drag a change image behavior into the rule. And we will set the image to the ball image. And we can accomplish that just by dragging the image we want into the box. Now we'll go back to behaviors and change the velocity of the ball to a um, random value between 45 and 135. And um, what that will do is that will cause the ball to start moving in a random direction between 45 degrees and 135 degrees from um, horizontal to the right. So that will be upward in a random direction. So in order to do that we'll add an expression. Um, random minimum 45 and maximum 135. And now we will add a change attribute and we will change the uh, in play attribute to true. Okay, now let's preview our progress so far. So click the green preview button and it looks good. So we'll pick up from here next time.